All right, you're gonna see the behind the scenes again. Morning, morning. Today is October 5th, um, 2021 or 2025 or 2050. You pick a year. Um, I don't know, you can pick the year. I'll just say the date. October 5th, um, you're gonna see the behind the scenes. It's nine o'clock, checkout's at 10. We're buttoning up right against it. Um, just needed to rest yesterday. Like my eyes hurt, I was so tired. Um, hadn't been sleeping. Um, finally got all the YouTube backlog uploaded since last time we stopped in Grand Marais. Wasn't able to eat through all of that, so I was backlogged by like 10 or 11 days. So I uploaded all YouTube videos. Um, as far as Patreon videos, I'm sorry, I haven't uploaded those yet. Patreon's pretty far behind on the Scoutmaster logs. So to everybody that's a Patreon member, I apologize. Um, I was trying to put more focus to the YouTube videos that are those larger files to upload. Um, so you guys can continue following the journey. The Patreons are fun for me and fun for y'all. Um, those Scoutmaster logs that are five minutes that recap the day. I have, them, I have them on my phone. I just have not had time to upload them. So our next town stop after this, which will be October 10th or 11th, somewhere in there, I'm assuming, um, I'll get through all that backlog. But first I had to get through another backlog before I could get to another backlog, um, if that makes sense. So yeah, I apologize about that, but I'm trying my best here, guys. There's a lot to handle. <laughs> um, also, 11 Skies, um, just we... I think I've been bringing you guys on this journey. If not, you guys get more behind the scenes content. Um, we are officially done and our production is in route for production number three or four. I think it's three. Um, and yeah, this production is gonna be pretty special. We have a partnership with um, somebody that we're pretty stoked to announce. Um, I think it's special. So yeah, um, yeah, a lot of stuff happened yesterday, but what I'm trying to go through is our resupply. So we can finally keep our resupply light because we're going through towns. Pretty much where we hit into Ely, um, from here on out for a long time, we just road walk slash two track slash bike path. A lot of easy cruising stuff that we're not in the wilderness and we can keep our packs lit. So this is a two day resupply. Um, magpie size there, my size here. What we're working with is two sandwiches for lunches two candies that's gonna just be eaten throughout the day i love jawbreakers one dinner two dinners and then snacks um fig bars and these for snacks magpies packing too quickly hervey supply Velveeta's as well two dinners snacks snacks candy two lunches and then she just got cheese because she's a cheese person loaded baked potatoes and those are not as good without cheese cheese is her lube excuse me your body, Lou. Okay. It helps the tummy. And then we also have a um, kind of middle bag for us of six holiday cookies. Y'all. Holiday cookies are on point. Yeah, y'all. The holiday cookies, the gas station holiday in Minnesota. I don't know if it's elsewhere. Their cookies are mm, more tasty. So I'm going to do you a quick room thing real quick, and then I got to pack up. Um, we're getting everything situated on the bed, chargers, whatnot. Um, that's just kind of been used as our pedestal. Here is where it gets fun. Um, the cake, the $10 cake, y'all. I tried. I tried. If it was actually good cake, I would have eaten way more of it. But the reason it was on sale is because it's old. Yeah, there was a it's reason. two days past its sell by date. And that's not even saying I don't like old cake. I like old cake, but this cake was... This particular old cake. It didn't have any flavor. It was just like this much icing and I then told, this much cake. I and told it was, him it's a sheet cake. You're not going to like it. And he's like, what's a sheet cake? And I was like, okay. All right. You're going to have to find out from experience. So we made a $10 mistake here. Um, that's okay. This is my backup anchor battery. And I've tried... It's been on the fritz since Grand Marais. I've tried many things to get it working. It is completely shot. I don't know why, but that is trash at this point. Well, um, Anchor has a warranty, but we're not gonna go through doing it because there's a, ha it's a hassle. Yeah, so we're packing up, getting stuff going, and I thought I would just show you. Yeah, show you the room as we get stuff rolling. So, yep, we're about to leave town in the next 30 minutes to an hour, depends how fast we pack up and check out, and um, start cruising. Really needed yesterday. Really needed that Nero. Oh, baby. All right. All right, and that's how a clean room should look. Clean bed. Magpie's getting her 
puffy phone that's been packed out bunched up the sheets on this side for them put the furniture back um got that all situated put this here i'm going to tell them about that when we check out in case they have somebody that's an electronical wizard that can play with that and might make it work um or they can just send it into anchor because they yeah. have a warranty you no know, purchase group purchase not necessary cleaned up here left these out in case somebody wants them if not they'll donate them or give them there's a food bank across the way yes. Tra trashed up trashed up so this hotel recycles so we have recycling and trash yeah. that's how you clean it up folks Leave the motel rooms better for, or at least as easy as possible for the cleaning staff. And um, leave a tip. Yeah, and make it good for, for the hikers behind you. Um, don't leave it messy. Especially, especially, especially. On do it do it everywhere, but especially on lesser known trails, yeah. You're representing the, all hikers. Yeah, you're, the, you're some of the first representations and those representations stay the longest. So do everything in your power to make those representations Good. All right, how much tip should I leave? Uh, I don't know. All right, all right, all right. So we stayed at the Motel Ely. The friendliest, um, friendliest front desk lady. Ever. Yeah, it doesn't look like much on the outside, but it is very hiker friendly. Um, and it's, you got a lot of pick of hotels, but I would, I would just recommend it. It's good. It's everything a hiker needs. It's not too fancy, not too, creepy crawly like some of those ones we stayed in it's not so nice that you feel bad about putting your stinky hiker feet on the bed yeah it's not so gross that you feel bad about sitting on the bed it's perfect for a hiker it's perfect. and the people are super friendly yeah it's really um, check in early it's right across the street from the gas station oh yeah so we are walking out we got some road walk ahead a lot of road walk ahead um i'm gonna use that time to brainstorm some trail names for magpie no. we rewatched a video that talked about some ones that she was pretty excited about um the sl we'll just call it the sl um it's super light i like that oh uh, well i thought it was more self and then something all right so we walk places 9 40 getting out of town time to step thoughts comments concerns yep Yep, it's not a thought or a comment or a concern. It's a thought. That's what I think about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nickname in high school. <gasps> yes, best one yet? Yeah, I think that's your best one yet. No, I think there was one on the Superior Hiking Trail where that was even better. Yeah, I don't remember what it was, though. Ah, it was Drain Pipe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's a real thing or not. There's no way somebody harnessed a moose power. I don't know. Let's no. see, there's a little right there. Somebody actually harnessed moose power? Yeah, bought from an Indian and the moose was very young. Wow. But they're so gangly. Yeah. Huh. Eli's a really cute town, folks. Ely. 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 It's a cute town. Computers and hobbies. You know you have walked through the fun part of town and the touristy part of town. When you hit the Dollar General. When you hit the Dollar General. That means you're out of the fun part of town. Um, We're actually literally about to walk out of town. Yeah, that's surprising though. Um, I didn't think there would be a Dollar General or a yurt. That is a place where they store road salt. Oh. So, town of Ely. Don't sleep on it. Beautiful town. I wish we could have explored it more. That's a town I would actually come back to. Um, there's not a whole lot of those on the NCT. I mean, you go through so many, but um, yeah, that's the town I would definitely want to explore more. <laughs> more. So now we start our road walk. Babe, am I your bait? She said yes. I think hard to hear her with road noise. Ah, oh, the road noise. We're back. <laughs> oh man. Feels like we never left. Huh. We walked right by a bear enclosure. It's kind of sad. I don't know. Very mixed feelings about that. Um, it does let people learn that bears aren't monsters. Um, when you actually get the facts that they're not the boogeyman coming to eat you when you go out into the wild. But it's sad that they're not out in the wild right now. So I don't know. 
mixed feelings about that. Ah, uh, so far so good. Giant shoulder for the road walk. A plus 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 for a road walk in miles. Um, Minnesota, you can do it right. I haven't done that in a while. Oh, I can't amplify my Mickey Mouse voice or else I would try to get Magpie's attention with the Mickey Mouse voice. I felt the urge. I felt the urge of the mouse creeping up in me. Gotta just let it out sometimes. I'll hold it in though until I get to share the experience of the Mickey Mouse. All right, so we've been seeing this bike path next to us for a while. Um, right now, the GPX files that we pulled over back in April or May of this year, before we started hiking the NCT, has you walking on this road out of Ely and connecting into the Masabi Trail around Tower, I believe, a little bit before that town. But when we were talking to uh, the sweet motel owner in um, Ely, she said they've been working on extending the Masabi Trail. And I'm assuming this is the extension of it. Again, we're not walking it because as of our information that we pulled off um, the NCTA's website back in April and May of this year, it has us walking this road. But I have a strong feeling um, that is the extension of the Masabi Trail. Um, so yeah, thought I would point that out. All right, the trifecta is what you're seeing. Sleeping bag, tent body, tent fly, all drenched. Um, didn't dry them out on our town day yesterday because- We just forgot. Forgot, honestly. Um, again, there was a lot of stuff going on. R rest, most importantly, like just, and trying to manage the sheer amount of stuff of having service again. So we're sitting here, it's like 11.20, been walking for like an hour. Uh, not, two not, hours, I'd say. Oh, yeah, probably two hours. Not super stressed about miles. Um, it's flat, like there's not a big cliff that's gonna stop us or slow her down our pace. So eating some food, trying out some stuff. Um, went with a turkey, Cajun turkey and Swiss, which is, oh, bomb. He just, this time when we resupplied for two days, he just followed me around and just bought what I bought for the most part. <laughs> and I think you're pretty pleased with your resupply now, huh? A magpie shadow. Well, every time she gets stuff. You're um, always like, oh, I should have got that sandwich. It was yeah. so much better. I'm like, yeah, well. I've learned to stop listening to my internal monologue and quiet that down and listen to her uh, external monologue when she's resupplying. Sometimes I'm even like, you like this, you should buy this, you like it. I don't like it, but you like it. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I'm always right. Yeah, so, time to dry out. I think this is the Masabi Trail. This has to be an extension of the Masabi Trail. Extension. Right now we're sitting on like seed mulch that's got like the seed and fertilizer mixed together on here. Mm -hmm. So it's gotta be just like not on the maps because it's like brand spanking new 2021. 2021 baby because when we were closer to town we could see that this trail was under construction closer up so oh yeah ah the road Nice. Um, I think this is an extension of the Masabi Trail. Um, it starts a little earlier than forecasted. So, very nice. Putting in some work. The road's not too bad, though, too. We've been following that for since uh, Eli. Ely. Um, it's not too bad. Kind of quiet-ish road. Um, pretty big shoulder. Ooh. Whew, yeah, Constantine. You got them spidey hands. Snagging that out of the air. Whoo, baby. You're the railroad authority. I am the railroad authority. <laughs> All right, so it's right around four o'clock. Um, <clears throat> 403 to be exact and we are 
I don't know, a mile or two outside of Sudan. Um, it's this little kind of small town you hit before you hit Tower. Um, so we're gonna roll through there, um, get to Tower. Um, should get there, I don't know, five or six. Don't know the exact miles, I just walk places. Um, and fill up water there and then just keep plugging away the miles. Um, probably get a little bit, an hour or two of night hiking in um, to get us up and over 30 for today. Um, because we're in crush mode, baby. We're in crush mode. Today is October 5th, as I said at the beginning of the video, but we are in, as you saw, flat bike path walking, road walking. So now's the time that we make up the miles that um, we weren't hitting on the border route <clears throat> and the Keck. Um, time to start picking that average up. So we're hoping to finish by the end of the month. Um, hoping to finish by the end of October. And to do that, we have to crush McDidley. Um, I'm sorry, Mac Diddley. So, I don't know. Is it femi femi feminine or masculine? Where is it um, neither? I don't know. Um, Mick Diddley, Mac Diddley, either one you want to do. It's kind of like AI, AI, uh, L, A, AI, or um, Nols in um, Spanish. So, I don't know. You got to pick the conjugation. We're going to crush Mac Diddley, Mick Diddley, um, however you want to put it, Miles. So, going to try to get above our 30 in today. So, mile or so before uh, Sudan, there is this little visitor site that you can see right from the trail. Um, pretty cool. It's a Lake Vermilion visitor site. So, oh, it's the entrance to a campground. Hello. So yeah, trail is right there. Magpie just rolled in there and yeah, she's gonna use the restroom and then we're gonna keep on rolling. All right, we are about, I don't know, half a mile from when we, we you don't turn that road into Sudan. You go about half a mile more and then turn. So the trail brings you up into Sudan across then back down into tower so about half a mile all right so this is main street it's a very lively main street of sudan um i think it's south sudan that we're currently I in Soudan. i think that's how you pronounce it uh oh not south sudan no it's s-o-u-d-a-n so i would call that Soudan. anyway it's near Soudan mines south sudan um Dude. this is where this is where we currently find ourselves. Um, they made a little dog out of their, huh. out of their uh, canisters. Um, yeah, very lively Main Street. I would say don't expect services in this town. Um, tower, you're gonna have something though. I hear a fluff. I don't see the fluff yet. It's a backyard fluff. Is it a backyard fluff? I don't know, I saw a movie back there. Mm -mm. So we're walking through downtown Sudan, which again, not, not much, to... but there's these little kids on bikes that start chatting us up and he asked us where we're from. So besides trying to tell the story, we just ultimately said we started in Vermont. And then he... 4,000 miles. Yeah. And he's like, that's the most insane thing I've ever heard. Yeah. You guys are crazy. It's very sweet. It was like this very... An um, unfiltered nine-year-old opinion. I yeah, love it. Yeah, it was just very unfiltered. Like, that's the most insane thing I've ever heard. And it's like, when you think about it, yeah, 4,000 miles is pretty nuts. I'm sure a lot of grown-ups think that, too. They just filter the thought. Yeah. So, yeah, we actually are passing our 4,000-mile mark sometime today. If not, within the next few miles. 4,000 miles hiked on the NCT, baby. Woohoo. Woohoo. Oh, I was too close to make that a good zoom. I think that's the first time y'all have seen magpie's legs in God knows how long. So all those old Victorian timey folks 
bring it down now y'all bring it down now i know i know flashing the ankle gets stuff really hot and heavy but we got to cool ourselves off somehow um throw some cold water on your face do something because I know for all those old Victorian folks, that the ankle. First time it's been both like warm and not brushy. Uh huh. I know. I kept my pant legs down in Ohio because of the tip. It's uh, like burlesque to show that much ankle. Look at the, like, color contrast. Oh, look at how much ankle there is. <laughs> look at how not tan my legs are. Ooh. If you keep, <laughs> if you keep showing that much ankle, baby, we're gonna get arrested. We my will be. Are covered. It's really just my shins. Uh huh. Indecent exposure charges okay. will be filed underneath our names. So on our maps, it was called Seldon's Only Store. And I was like, oh, that's that's a fun map thing. It's actually called The Only Store. So the trail brings you right by it. Um, the Only Store in Seldon. Brings you by The Only Store in Seldon. So if you need something, holler at it. I mean, the tower is like two miles away. So. Yeah. You know what's blowing my mind right now? Uh, Minnesota's definitely moist because I'm getting bit by mosquitoes. Wow. Um, I don't expect that. It's October 5th. I'm getting chewed up by some mosquitoes. That is pretty bonkers. Um, getting close to the tower where we're going to fill up some water and um, keep on rocking and rolling. I've just been using this time to type out an update over on the Patreon. Um, again, I apologize. I've just not had a spare minute. Um, we've been so remote. And then Grandma Ray, we had to stay in the campground, so I didn't have Wi-Fi. So hoping I'm going to be able to publish that right now. So I'm going to stop talking to this and start working on that. Continue working on that. All right, we're going to keep rocking and rolling. Oh. All right, so the trail pops you out on kind of this interesting like museum, train museum. Museum and gift shop. What we're looking for currently is water. Um, we're in a parking park type area. I just don't know where the water would be. If I was a park and I put the water somewhere, where, where would I put it? Is there a restaurant? Yeah, right there. Oh, interesting. There might be a spigot out there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know where else the water would be. So, we're gonna go check out the restaurant. Alright, so we found it on the side of that. Oh my god, I'm just getting attacked. By what? Oh, can you hold something? Yeah. Thank you. Oh my god, those mosquitoes have just been eating me alive. I'm not getting bit at all. Um, yeah, so there's a hose right there on the side of it or if you are hankering for some food they have i don't know you i, I have no idea what they would actually have um well, their menus it's like fried fish shrimp chicken fingers chicken i was making wings. a i was making a joke about all the big banisters oh i missed that you didn't get that joke nope i was like how did you not see that stuff uh, yeah no idea you're gonna have to figure it out all right Back to road walk, which we'll be rock walking the rest of the day, a little bit into the night. It is six o'clock, and um, yeah, this is just a straight shot road for us for foreseeable future. So, oh, road walking. All right, so it is a little before seven o'clock and um, we've done 27 or 28 miles. So if we walk till 8.30ish, should be able to hit 32 or 33. Um, yeah, pretty good day for out of town. Um, it is super, as you see, flat and not a lot of obstacles that really slow our pace down. So pretty cruisy day out of town so i think we're gonna hit yeah 32 33 depending where we camp cool cool all right i think we did closer to a 32 but um we're about to set up camp stop the ping let's do it 